All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Um, this hour, we are going to be uh, continuing on with, uh, with our book, Talk, Talk, Talk. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you do, don't have the book, let me, uh, let me get it to you. Nope, that is not it. Hold on one second. Um, here it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so here, here's the, the book that we're going to be going through. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on um, uh, phrases, uh, words and phrases for giving instructions. Okay, so the link, uh, link to the book that uh, we're going over is in the chat box right now. Okay, very good. So let's see who we have in class so far. Um, all right, do I have uh, Oksana here? Yeah, good morning, chat. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Nice to see you again. I'm too. Okay, how about um, Danielle? Hi there, Danielle. How are you? I did it, uh, fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. All right. Um, okay, we have Fidel. Hi, Fidel, how are you? Hey, Chad, how are you doing? I'm doing well. What about you? I'm doing very well as well, thank you. Uh, Fidel, where are you from? I'm from Nicaragua. I Nicaragua, okay. We're uh, we're we're neighbors. Just you're just to the north of me. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm in I'm in Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah. What uh, what part of uh, Nicaragua do you live in? In, you're in you're Managua, the capital. Okay. Yeah, you're probably outside of the city. It looks like you have uh, horses. It's a beautiful horse. A beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful yes, horse. Yeah. Beautiful. yeah, yeah. Very awesome. Yeah. Okay. Great. Nice to have you here. Okay, me too. All right. Uh, how about Heidi? Hi there, Heidi. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Okay. Um, all right. We also have Rafa. Hi there, Rafa. How are you? I'm pretty well, thank you. Excellent. Glad to be in your classes. Excellent. Good to have you back. Um, and uh, Alicia, hi there, yeah. Alicia. How are you? Fine. Hi, Todd, and hi, everybody. Hi there. Hi there. All right. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Uh, when you open up the link and uh, download it, this is this is what you'll see. Talk, talk, talk. Okay. Um, if you go to page number three. That, uh, that'll take you to the table of contents. Okay, I'll show you that in uh, just one second here. Okay, so you go to page number three. That's our table of contents. Um, all right, so we are going to start on chapter 12. All you need to do is click on this, and it will uh, take you right to the chapter that uh, we're going to be working on. Okay, uh, so here in the chapter we have uh, some expressions and responses that we're going to go over. Okay, um, and then we'll go we'll go through some some practices and uh, uh, work on work on speaking uh, speaking to each other. Okay. Uh, all right, let's uh, take a look here at the uh, uh, the introduction to our lesson. Um, hi, Arthur. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you. Very nice. Good to have you here. Okay, and let's start off with uh, Alicia. Uh, Alicia. Uh, Alicia, please uh, read this uh, this first paragraph, please. Yes. Okay. No. 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 Wait. I don't have it. Uh, given extraction, every now and then uh, someone may ask uh, you extraction uh, on how do something. It may be something simple like how to operate a coin operated washing machine and at a laundry mat or it be something more difficult difficult like programming a remote controller for a TV. Okay, very good. So uh, giving instructions is part of uh, everyday life. Okay, especially if you have children or if you're at work, 
uh, things like that. Okay, uh, people always need to know how to do things, and so uh, we'll be. Uh, and we always need to understand how to do them as well. So we'll be going over phrases on how to ask. Okay, ask for help in um, in understanding how to use something. Okay, or how to do something, and then uh, some phrases that we can that we can use in uh, in response. Okay, all right. Let's uh, come down here. And let's go to Oksana. Um, Oksana, please read uh, a number number one. Um, expression: How do you operate? This can opener. Uh, response: First, put the can under that sharp wheel and push that level down. Level down. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, our first uh, our first expression: How do you operate? Okay, um, uh, this is uh, this is a phrase that it that can be used. It's a little, uh, it's it's pretty formal. Okay, uh, but you can you can still use it. Okay, so number number one is is pretty formal. I I really don't use the word operate very much. Okay, uh, just because operate is a, a formal a formal word, but um, you can you can use it if uh, if you want. Okay, um, now you can uh, replace this section here. How do you replace or how do you operate this can opener? You can replace it with anything. Okay, uh, you can say that. Okay, if it's something that's far away, how do you operate that garage door? Okay, how do you operate operate that garage door? Okay, or how do you operate the printer? Okay, a lot of times uh, and when you're at the office, the printers are are like the big printers. They're they're often difficult to uh, to know how to operate. Okay, so you can use that if the object is far away, or this if the object is is close by. Okay, uh, you can also if the person knows exactly what you're talking about, say the. How do you operate the microwave? Okay, if it's a uh, if it's a really difficult microwave in your office, or um, maybe it's the uh, the clothes washer, right? How do you operate the clothes washer? Okay, I can't figure it out. Okay, uh, now in our in our response. Okay. Uh, notice. Okay, we can we can start off with first. Okay. All right. Now, uh, a lot of times, what uh, what we what we uh, um, the verb that we use is put first, put or first place. Okay. So you can say first put or place. Okay. Um, uh, another word we might use is get. Okay. If they need to uh, uh, get or retrieve something before they do another thing. Okay. Uh, you, you can use a, a word like check. If they have to look at something, first uh, check the batteries. Make sure the batteries are good. Okay. Or, or check the uh, check the on and off switch. Okay. Check it. Right, um, and that's there. Are, there are probably some others, but those are those are fairly common when when giving instructions. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look at number two. Number two is for Arthur. Go ahead and read two, please. Can you show me how to use this copier? After after putting the paper under the cover. Enter the number of copies needed, and then press start. There you go. Okay. All right. This is probably going to be the uh, the most popular. Okay. This is this is uh, uh, informal and formal. Okay. Um, you could say uh, instead of can, you could say could if you wanted to. If you wanted to be a little bit more formal. Okay. How? 
Okay, that would be a, a more formal way of saying it. Could you or can you? Okay, can you would be uh, informal. Could is uh, formal. Okay, either one is okay. All right, either one is okay. Okay. Um, now here. So um, it's sorry, it's that, yes. That's the difference between can and could. Could it's more formal than it can. It's more informal. Uh huh. Uh, so that's the big difference between can and could. We can use both, but could is more formal. That's yeah, like could is, could is more formal. Could is more polite. Okay, ah, it's polite. Uh, but, okay. but yeah, it's it's polite, right? Uh, but really, um, uh, asking uh, or saying can is is okay. You know, if it's okay. your, if it's your boss or if it's someone in a higher position, then you you might want to say could. It shows a little bit more respect and politeness. Um, you know, something like that. It, but it's it's really not that big, not that big of a deal. Okay. Mm. Uh, if it's if it's my friends, I, you know, I I I switch between both of them. You know, I don't uh, I don't okay. physically think about think about it that much when I um, wh when I ask this. But this is this again. This is a really uh, really popular phrase when asking how how to do something. Could you show me? Okay, could you show me how? Okay. Um, now here, okay, after pudding. Okay, notice um, when we say after. Okay, the verb pudding uses the gerund form. Okay, same thing with those other verbs that I play that I used up there. After placing, after checking, after reading. Okay, so this uh, so our verb. Okay. In gerund form. The verb is going to have to be in gerund form after, after. Whoops. Ah. Okay. Has to be in gerund form after, after. Okay. Um, and let me move that down so you don't think it's on the, uh, on the other box. Okay. Right. Um, okay. Number three. Number three is for uh, Daniel. Uh, <clears throat> do you know how to use this rice cooker? Sure. Put three cups of dried rice in. Add two cups of water, and hit the start button. Okay. Very good, very good. Again, uh, starting off with sure and uh, a popular uh, popular verb for for giving instructions. Put. Okay. Uh, do you know how to? Is uh, is very popular as well. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna place a word in here. So I'm gonna say popular. And this one is also popular. Okay. Uh, do you know how to? Do you know how to? Um, I, I probably use two and three more than any of those others there. Okay. Um, and do you know how um, is is more than likely going to be considered uh, in informal. Okay. Um, but <clears throat> it can be used in in most most situations. Okay. So if it was my boss, I say, um, "Hey, do you know how to do this?" Okay, or could you show me? Okay, I could say, "Do you?" There's no real uh, formal way to say, "Do you know how?" Okay, and so yes, it's informal because it's not really uh, extremely uh, polite. Okay, um, because we're not using a a polite word like "could" or "Would you be able to uh, um, show me how?" Okay, uh, here it's just, "Do you know how?" Okay. All right, but it uh, but it is very very popular. Okay. All right, and uh, last uh, last expression here. This is for Fidel. Uh, number four, please. All right. How do I go about baking a cake? Buy a box of cake mix and follow the instructions on the box on the back of me. 
Okay, very good, very good. All right. So, how do I go about? Um, <clears throat> this one, this one is uh, is um, it's same same as like, can you show me? Okay, and how do you operate? It's going to be less popular. Okay, um, maybe a little more formal. Okay, uh, not extremely formal. Okay, uh, this is probably going to be a phrase that's used more in England than in the United States. Um, I, I've really never said this uh, this phrase. Okay, but I have I have heard it before by others. How do I go about? Okay. Um, uh, maybe I would say how would so if, if someone says um, you need to do this and this I might say okay so how would I go about doing that okay I might say that as a as a question of um, I don't understand and and you know and I'm asking that person how would they do it okay um, so I might say that but uh, rarely it would I say how do I go about Okay, I would probably just say, could you show me or do you know how? Okay, uh, notice here we're starting off with the verb, buy a box of cake. Okay, and when we, are, when we are starting off with the verb, we're going to be using it in command form. Okay, so there's no, um, there's no uh, subject needed at the very beginning. Okay, you can say you, you need to buy, so first you need to do this. Okay, or you just say uh, buy a box of buy a box of cake mix. Follow the instructions on the back. Okay, so we're using command form here. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, command form of the verb. Okay. All right. Any uh, any questions? Any questions about these uh, these different expressions or responses? Nope. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's take a look here. Widen that up. Okay. Um, and Heidi, Heidi, let me have you read this uh, this paragraph, please. Giving instructions may sound difficult, especially detailed instructions. But if the instructions are broken into small steps and the steps are clearly identified, it becomes a more a manageable task. To do this, I use sequence marks. These are words uh, which guide the uh, listener or reader through the instruction by giving them uh, the, the order of steps to follow. Common sequence markers are. Okay, very good. Um, let's see here. Paco, how you doing, Paco? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, very good. Um, Paco, let me have you read our sequence markers, please. Uh, first, second, third, fourth, after that, next, before that, then you begin by the last step is now finish. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see. All right, very nice. Okay, so um, uh, sequence markers, you guys. Uh, these are these are great when giving instructions. It helps uh, it helps you lay out uh, uh, how and in what order someone needs to do something. Okay. Uh, we also use these when uh, telling stories. Okay. Um, also when uh, answering essay questions. Okay. So if you've uh, answered TOEIC or a TOEFL, okay, type questions, um, you want to uh, uh, use these sequence markers. Okay. Uh, or uh, priority markers. So first do this. Second do this. Or first this happened. Second this happened. Okay. After that. Okay, now to finish, uh, you need to do this. Okay, uh, so the, these are these are really great uh, great phrases to um, or great words and phrases to learn how how to use when giving instructions or telling a story or answering um, professional essays. 
Okay. Uh, any questions up to this point? Nope. Okay. Um, so I want to go through uh, go through a list of things that are that are qu common um, that uh, you might ask uh, ask for instructions on. Okay. So uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Pandan or Fandan? Yes, I'm here. Hi. H how do I pronounce your name correctly? Yeah, you pronounce it correctly. Okay. Very good. And where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. From Vietnam, excellent. Okay, so uh, give me a give me a, a an item or a situation wherein uh, and it could be at work, it could be at home, it could be at school, okay, it could be with your friends, where uh, where you might need to ask or give instructions. What would be a, an item or a situation? What do you think? A common common item or situation. So you mean I give some uh, interesting, right? Uh, I want to so for example um, we uh, we just read through some some expressions okay and a can opener okay or uh, how to use the copier okay or how to use the rice cooker these are common um, common situations or items that we might need help learning how to how to use and so I'm uh, I'm asking if you can think of any other type of, of situations yeah, I think there are lots of. Okay, maybe, say that again. Yes, yeah, I think maybe there are lots of other situations in uh, our real conversation. Okay, uh, but that uh, that isn't a uh, a a a situation. Um, so, for example, um, maybe how to wash a car. Okay, yeah. how to wash a car. That would be a situation. Yeah. Okay. How to wash a car? So um, we might, uh, if we've never done it before, okay. What's the how? What's the best way to do it? Okay. Can you think of any other situations? Yeah, I think <clears throat> maybe. Uh, uh, how can I do that? I think so. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, how about uh, let's see here, uh, Rafa. Rafa, can you think of uh, any other uh, any other situations where where you might need to ask for instructions, like yeah. how to use a can opener, how to wash a car? Yeah, I um I would like to know how to drive a car. Okay, yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. How to drive a car? That's a that's a huge one. Okay, how to drive a car? I remember, I remember asking my dad, "Dad, can you teach me how to drive?" Um, okay, um, let's see, Alicia, uh, what do you think? What, what would be another situation, a common situation that that we might ask as human beings? Do you know how to cook a uh, spaghetti? There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so how to cook? And I hope I don't spell that wrong. I did, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it's right. Uh, it's right. It was no, it right? No, no, no. With a. Oh. Uh, a. G H. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. How to cook spaghetti? Awesome. Okay. Uh, thank you. How about uh, Oksana? Can you think of another situation? Something else that we might ask for instructions? About uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, can you show me how to wash dog? Okay, how to wash a dog? Yes, how <laughs> the same like car maybe. Okay, how to wash a dog? Okay, all right, very good, very good. I like that one. Um, how about uh, let's see, Arthur? Okay, what's a, what's another situation? Um, how to drive? How to drive? <clears throat> no, no, not drive, but dive, diving. Oh, okay, uh, like scuba dive. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, how how to scuba dive? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about uh, Daniel? Yes. Um, how to put together some furniture from IKEA? <laughs> I like that one. Okay. All right. How to put together furniture from IKEA? <laughs> oh man, I love it. Furniture uh, from car for me. Furniture from IKEA. Yeah, they make it sound so easy, but once you have it spread out all over your floor, you're like, <laughs> "What? What happened to this part?" Or I have an extra piece, and I don't know where I need to put it. Yeah. Okay. We need our relatives. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Together. Okay. Oh man, I, I miss I think with you. Yeah, I I miss IKEA. I wish they had IKEA here in Costa Rica. Yeah, it's a there's some great furniture there. Okay, Fidel, uh, what's another situation? What do you think? Um, <clears throat> maybe for example, when your grandma or or even your mom ask you how to use her new smartphone or tablets. Yeah. yeah. It's something. Sometimes it's difficult for herbs. Okay, how to use a smartphone or tablet? Okay, very good. I like that one. Okay, that's a that's a that's a good one for uh, for these days, right? Very common. Okay, uh, and Heidi, how about uh, how about you? Mm, do you know how to buy uh, an airplane ticket through internet? Yeah, okay. Okay, so how to buy an airline an airplane ticket through the internet. Okay, that's a really good one. Okay. I like that. Okay. And let's see here. Paco, can you think of another situation? Yeah. For example, um how to cook a good uh, cake. Okay, how to, how to, uh, uh, instead of cook, how to bake. bake. Yeah, how to bake uh, a cake. All right, let's see here. How to, whoops, let me copy that. A cake. All right, very good. Very good, yeah, my, uh, um, my mother, uh, she, uh, uh, she, uh, uh, always, one of her, one of her big things was, um, was really, um, making sure that we all knew, knew how to cook at least one type of sweet, like, a, like cookies or a pie or a cake. Okay. Um, I learned how to make, uh, uh, cookies in my, in my, uh, in my house. Cause my mom, she bakes, she is a wonderful baker. We had cooks, or sorry, cookies and pies and cakes and uh, all this stuff. It was great. It was awesome. Okay, great job, you guys. Excellent, excellent. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's uh, let's come down here. Okay, I don't know. Um, we may uh, we may do this. Let me check and see. I know we've got a lot of those expressions. Okay, um, we may come back to we may come back to that, but I want to get through these other these other expressions here. Okay, um, all right, nice job. Let's uh, let's go to. Uh, so we're gonna we we I scrolled down. You guys were on page forty four. Okay, um, now this is uh, asking for repeats. Okay, uh, so this is this is when you don't understand what some what what someone said. Okay, so when they give you a whole list of instructions, okay, or directions on on what to do or how to get there. Okay, um, these are some phrases when we, how how we can ask people to uh, to repeat uh, repeat something. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's take a look at these, and we're going to go through these pretty quick because I want to get to uh, to some practices here. Right, so uh, Bandon. Uh, let me have you read uh, the first, uh, the first three, please. Uh, and you're going to read the expression and the response. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Press fill in this form and take it to the window tree. Could you repeat that, please? Certainly. The answer is no. What did you say? I said the answer is the planet Pluto. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to Rafa. One more time. What is the chemical symbol for sink? Once more. I said put the book in the refrigerator. Come again. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Okay, and uh, the, the next one, please. Could you run that by me again? After mixing the ingredients, stir vigorously until until well until well blended. Let it sit for one hour, and then put it in the oven. Okay, very good. All right, so um, in looking at these here, you guys. <clears throat> Uh, up till right now, oh, whoops. Okay, up till right now. Um, I'm going to put uh, the word pop here. Okay, uh, meaning popular. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Okay, um, uh, could you repeat that? Okay, and what did you say? Okay, uh, as well as um, could you run that by me again? Those are going to be more popular and more useful. Um, than the other ones. So uh, one more time, once more, come again. Uh, that's not used very often. Okay. Now, um, there's one word here that uh, that is often confused. Okay. Get. I didn't get that, and I didn't catch that. Okay. Don't confuse them. Okay. Get refers to understanding. Okay, so if you say I didn't get that, that means that you did not understand. Okay, uh, so you didn't understand the words that they were saying. The meaning was lost. Catch refers to hearing. Okay, hearing. So maybe there was a noise that came in and you couldn't hear everything that was being said at the time. Okay, you say, oh, teacher, sorry, I didn't catch that. Someone was clapping in the background. Okay? Now, it didn't mean, you're not saying that, uh, that you didn't understand it. You might not have, okay? But you're not saying that you didn't, you didn't understand the meaning or the words if I were to repeat that again. Okay? So if it's just hearing, if you didn't hear it, okay, hearing is not understanding. Hearing is because there's something that was obstructing the sound. Okay, maybe the person turned away when they were talking. Okay, or the microphone was covered up when they were speaking. Okay, the microphone was covered up. Okay, right. So those those types of things would be catch that. I didn't catch that. I didn't get that means that I didn't understand. So if you're confused by what they by what the person said, okay, or you didn't you didn't understand the instructions, we say I didn't get that. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about those two words? I hear those uh, uh, confused quite often. Any questions? No. I no? Okay. All right. I, I get it. <laughs> Good. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's continue here. Okay. The next three... Uh, let's see, Rafa read, so let's go to Alessia. Go ahead and read the next three, Alessia. Ah, ooh. Uh, it, would be, <laughs> it, would be, it would be like this, huh? Ha, huh. okay. Do you have any money? And um, please speak more slowly. Of course, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't understand the expression. It's mean to answer or question or supply the information the information on that piece of paper. Okay. All right. These are these are pretty good. Okay. Uh, so I would probably say. Okay. Uh, I use this one quite often. Huh? Okay. You'll hear us. You'll hear us do that. Okay. Uh, that means what? Okay. Or could you repeat that? 
in a very short word. Huh? Huh? Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, so our voice, our voice starts low and then comes up, like you're asking a question. Huh? Okay, what was that? Okay, so uh, huh is used quite often. All right, uh, huh? Speak more. Uh, please speak more slowly. Okay, this is a this would be a good one for you guys. Okay, um, and I'm sorry I don't understand the expression. Okay, um, that would be uh, uh, the same as I'm sorry I d I don't get it. Okay, I don't understand. Okay, you could use that one as well. Okay, uh, very good. Let's go to uh, Oksana. The uh, the next three, please. What does an ingredient mean? An ingredient is one thing of maize that is in a dish of food. For example, flour is an ingredient in cakes. I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. I mean you should be very careful. Can you give me an example? Things like necklaces, necklaces earrings, bracelets, Etc. Etc. Et All right, very good. Okay, you guys. Um, this is the form for asking the definition. Okay, what does blank mean? Okay, if there is a word that you don't understand, this is the form you want to ask the question in. Okay, very, very simple. Okay, uh, a lot of times I hear students uh, complicate the question. All right, adding in extra parts to it. Nope. Okay. Four words. What does blank mean? Okay. Keep it nice and simple. Okay. There is no need to complicate it. Okay. This is this is definitely going to be popular. Okay. As well as this very last one. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't understand what you mean. Is similar to uh, I don't understand or I don't get it. Okay, you can use it if you want. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, can you give me an example? This is a great one for you to use as well. So I'm going to highlight it. Okay, especially for um, English learners. Okay, so if you don't uh, if you don't uh, get something, okay, if you don't understand it, you can say, "Teacher, could you give me an example?" Or, okay, to whoever is uh, asking or telling you what to do. Could you give me an example? Uh, sure. And, and then they would, they would try and lay it out. Examples are great to help you understand more or less what the meaning is. Okay. All right. Any, uh, any questions, you guys? No. Okay. All right. Um, let's go to um, a bit of interrupting. Okay, um, let's see. Arthur, let me have you read that, uh, that big paragraph, please. If someone is in the middle of something, say giving instructions, and you become confused, you may need to interrupt them so they can repeat what they say or make it clear. Interruptions in a conversation can be made for different reasons, not only to have instructions repeated. For example, you may interrupt someone who is working at the desk and you enter the office to talk to them, or you may interrupt someone who has said something that you disagree with. There are several expressions that can be used to interrupt someone. Look at the examples below. Okay, very good. Okay, so, okay, these are broken up into two uh, two different segments, okay, during a conversation, okay, or while someone is working, okay, uh, a, instead of working, we can always say busy, okay, while someone is busy or doing something, okay, they don't necessarily need to be uh, um, working, okay, they're just doing something, they're busy, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at these expressions here. And thank you for reading that, Arthur. Let's go to Daniel. Yes. Okay, uh, Daniel, let me have you read these four expressions, please. Okay. During a conversation. Wait a second. Could you repeat that? I said I have past three. Excuse me. 
I didn't catch that. I baked an apple pie. Now hold on. I totally disagree. You think so? If I may interrupt, yes. Okay, very good. All right, so here. Okay, we have uh, formal. Um, this is going to be very informal. Okay, uh, this one is uh, now hold on. It could be uh, could be thought up as rude. Now hold on here. Okay, so you're you're disagreeing. Now hold on. Okay, you're really stopping someone. Okay, um, this is uh, uh, formal. Okay, and um, informal. Wait a second. Okay, uh, not very uh, not rude. Okay, at all. Okay, I use wait a second and excuse me uh, quite often. Okay, um, all right, let's go to our next phrases. These are for Fidel. Okay, so uh, while someone is working, these are great. This is what usually happens. Okay, go ahead and read uh, the expression and the response, please, Fidel. Okay, I had, I had to bother you, but like. I had to bother you, but uh, could I speak to you for a mi for a minute? Yes, what it is? Sorry for bothering you. No problem. What can I do for you? Sorry for interrupting you. Just need a second. I'll be with you in a s in a moment. It's t excuse me, but could I have a minute of your time? I'm really busy now. Okay, very uh, good. Uh, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Finish that off. I already finished. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was breaking up just a touch. Okay. Yeah. Um, these, uh, these you guys, are all um, formal and, uh, and informal, okay? Um, <clears throat> I, would, I would always uh, err on being uh, on the polite side, okay? Um, I hate to bother you. This is, this is good, okay? You're not saying you hate the person, okay? You hate bothering the person. Okay, you hate to interrupt them. Okay, sorry for bothering you. Sorry for interrupting. Okay, excuse me. Okay, this is a this is a great phrase right here. Uh, but could I have a minute of your time? Okay, this is really good. Okay. All right. Yeah, these these phrases right here, you guys. I would uh, I would memorize memorize these ones here. Okay, because someone uh, you're probably always going to interrupt someone while they're doing something. Okay, and so uh, I hate to bother you. Okay, or excuse me. Uh, either either uh, uh, of these phrases here um, are are really good. Okay, um, any any questions here? I want to get into practices. We've got about 15 minutes left. No. Okay. Um, I want to see how how good they're. Uh huh. All right. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. This is what I want to do. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, what uh, what I want to uh, uh, to work on, okay, is um, uh, interrupting someone when they're when they're busy. Okay. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be using one of these phrases up here. Okay, I hate to bother you. Sorry for so. I want to start off with one of these. Okay, so we're going to interrupt uh, one of our one of our uh, one of the people here. Okay, in class. Okay, so we're going to interrupt first. Okay, um, then ask the question. Okay, now you can choose from any one of these in uh, in the circle. Okay, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you have this downloaded. I don't think I can fit the whole thing on my on my page. Does that fit? Yeah, it sort of fits. Okay, uh, so you can choose any any one of these. These are these are simple. We want to give uh, um, uh, simple instructions or or instructions to the best of our our ability. Okay.
Um, all right, so uh, remember, we are going to be uh, interrupting, then then asking asking the question. Okay, so it would sound uh, a little like this. Uh, I might say, <clears throat> um, uh, Heidi, uh, I, I hate to bother you, um, but uh, could you show me how to use uh, the popcorn popper, or could you show me how to make popcorn? Okay. And you could respond with any of the responses here. So again, if you do not have this link, okay, to kind of scroll through, okay, the link is here in the chat box once again, okay, and you can you can go up to the uh, the uh, the uh, top page that we started on, I believe, page 44 or page 43, okay, and chapter 12, okay. So I want to practice using some of these phrases, okay. All right, very good. So uh, we're going to start off with uh, with Fidel. Fidel, I I would like for you to uh, you're going to interrupt Heidi. Okay, and we want to use one of those phrases. Then then you're going to choose one of these items here in the wheel uh, uh, to ask her for instructions. Does that make sense, Fidel? All right. So okay, just... and then Heidi. Yeah, and then Heidi will would respond. Okay? Okay. All right, here we go. So Heidi is right, right? Uh-huh, Heidi. Is, hey, have, uh, can I have a minute for your time? Yeah, sure. What? Uh, I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. uh, could you please show just... me how, how to use a payphone, please? Pardon? I couldn't catch you. I'm sorry. Please repeat it again. I repeat if, it. If you could show me how to use a payphone, please. Uh, a payphone. How to use a payphone. A ah, payphone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, maybe you can uh, borrow the phone in the telephone company at first. And second, you need to buy card to pay uh, some money. Depend on the card, uh, the price is different. Then put the card in the form. Then you can use the form. All right. Very good. Yeah. Very good, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you okay, so good. Now, yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and you can, uh, at the end, you can say, all right, well, thank you. I'll try that or something like that in response. Okay, uh, so I jumped in just a touch early, but that was good. Okay, very good. So Heidi, you're going to be speaking with Paco. So I want you to interrupt Paco and then ask him how to do one of these items in the wheel. Okay. Excuse me, uh, but could I have a minute of, of your time? Of course you can. Tell me, please. I want to ask you, how do you uh, make a cup of tea? I didn't catch it, please. Yeah. Cup of tea. Could you repeat? I didn't catch it. How do you make a cup of tea? A cup of tea? Yeah. Sure, madam. Uh, first, you have to boil uh, some water. Then, uh, then uh, you have to put uh, the tea in a cup, in a mug, and then you pour the water into the into the mug, wait for five minutes, and then you have uh, you can drink it. You you can uh, you have to uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, to filter filter the, the the water into another glass or another mug, and then the tea is ready to drink. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Very proud of you. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, and that would be filter. Okay, filter the, the water into another cup. That was good. That was uh -huh. good, Paco. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, very nice. Yeah, and, uh, and pay attention, you guys, as well, because I will be highlighting whichever one they see. So if you don't hear it uh, right off the bat, okay, take a look at the uh, screen. I'm highlighting it, okay? Um, okay, so let's go to Paco and uh, Pandin. Uh, so Paco, you'll be interrupting Pandin and asking him uh, uh, for instructions with one of the things here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 
uh, sorry uh, for bothering you, but uh, would you be so kind to tell me how to open a bottle of wine? How to open the bottle of wine? Yes, please. Yeah. The first, I think, um, it's too easy. It's not too hard. First thing you need to test the um, I don't know how to say. <laughs> uh, it, uh, the uh, the the cork the cork is on the top of the uh, the wine bottle. Okay, that's that yeah. uh, wood type thing. That's the cork. The good. Okay, so uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you need to tap the goose out of the bottle. Is that right? Uh, mm -hmm. the, it would be the cork. The cork. Okay, so what uh, what would he what would he need? So there's a there's a uh, um, a, a tool. Okay, so grab so uh, uh, put the tool. Okay, uh, into the cork. So you wind it. You go right, 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 and then, then it pops right up, right open, right. So you put the tool into the cork and then pull. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so try that out. So put uh, put the tool. I don't know exactly what the tool is called. Uh, it's like a decorker or something like that. So put the tool uh, into the pull. Yeah. Okay, try those words. Put the tool. Put the tool into the cork, and then pull out. Pull it out, right? Mhm. Mm okay. Thank you. The, the, I think the tool is called a uh, corkscrew. Could be. Ah, yes, the corkscrew. Yes, thank you. Corkscrew. 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 Yeah, put the put the corkscrew into the uh, uh, into the top and then pull. Yeah, great job, Baco. Yeah, I was like, wow, man, what is that thing called? <laughs> very good, very good, Baco. Great. Okay, uh, let's go to um, Pandam and uh, let's see Rafa. Okay, so Pandam, you are going to interrupt Rafa and ask him how to do one of these things, please. Pandam? Me? Yes, you. Uh, you yeah. need to interrupt Rafa and then ask him how to do one of these things, please. Yes. Sorry for interrupting. I... Can, can you show me? Can you show me? Can you show me how to... How to flirt the girl? How to flirt a girl? Flirt the girl. Um, flirt a girl, you know. Okay, which which one are you using? Because there's not mm -hmm. flirt a girl here. <laughs> okay, so choose choose one of the, one of the ones from this wheel, please, Pandam. Yeah. How uh, how can I? How can I drive a car? Okay, let's do start a car. Okay, let's do start a car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't mind. You are not interrupting me. Um, first of all, uh, you need to have a car. <laughs> uh, open <laughs> door and later. F secondly, you you need to have the key. Um, put the key into the um, right place. I don't know. Ignition. The name. Ignition. 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 Ignition button. Um, turn on the key. Um, you need to be very careful with the um, build the, the steering was in that in the right point. Uh, I don't um, know the name. Yeah, the the gear. Okay, the so gear? The, the gear is at the right point. So either in park or in, in park. neutral. In park in or neutral. in neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. 
Okay, good, yeah, good. Yeah, first off, you have to have a car. <laughs> All right, nice job, Rafa. Okay, uh, Rafa, you are going to interrupt uh, Alicia and ask her how to do something. Alicia, have you a moment for me, please? I need your help. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, could you tell me how I can do um, true spaghetti, Italian spaghetti? The True receipt. Ah, okay. <laughs> Please. Yeah, sure. It's necessary uh, for the country. You have to put uh, on the fire um, the water and uh, you boil it and then uh, you put inside uh, the salt, salt and then uh, you put uh, the spaghetti and you cook it for 20 minutes, 10 minutes, sorry, 8 to 10 minutes. And then uh, you put on, uh, I don't know what's this, the name. Uh, the noodles? No noodles. It's like a, uh, a cap with a little <laughs> oil. I, I don't know what's the name in English. Um, to drain it. Oh, um, a strainer. A strainer. Okay. Uh -huh. So you put it, you put it, put the water and the noodles into the strainer, and it drains out all the water. Okay. Uh -huh. And next, uh, next step uh, is uh, to to cook uh, um, something uh, to to mix up the spaghetti, and they enjoy, and then enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Another question, if I, if I may, it's very important. The mix up, you need to to. To wait five minutes with the spaghetti alone, or, or no, 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 to, to no, 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 no. You cook the spaghetti alone, mm -hmm. and uh, while uh, you have to cook something uh, to to join it, like uh, tomato sauce, mm -hmm. for example, or uh, ragu sauce with uh, meat, or mm -hmm. uh, with uh, sauce with uh, fish, and yeah. then uh, you join. Them. Okay, thank okay? you very much. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Alicia, you are talking with uh, Oksana. Okay, so you'll need to interrupt her and ask her how to do one of these things in the wheel, please. Sorry, who interrupt? I um, or Alicia? Alicia. Alicia needs uh, to interrupt Oksana. Mm -hmm. Alicia? Okay. Um, all right. So, um, Oksana, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Oksana. But um, uh, how do I take a picture with the camera? Oh, I'm not good photography. <laughs> sorry. Okay. 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 I I prepare peanut butter. Uh, first, okay. take bread and put uh, peanut butter. And put banana. It's very nice sandwich. Okay. <laughs> all right. So peanut butter and banana. Okay. That's uh, that sounds great. Thank you, Oksana. Welcome. Okay. So Oksana, uh, you'll need to interrupt Arthur here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I hate to bother uh, Arthur. Uh, uh, do you know how to? Uh, do you know how? Do you know how to take picture with cam with a camera? Arthur, where are you? Okay, Sorry. let's have you talk. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Arthur. Uh, so, um, you should, um, well, you should press one button, actually. <laughs> uh, Thank you. <laughs> Okay, but only press the button. Do I have to be pointing the camera someplace? Well, yes. Yeah, so just, just uh, find a great view or and point your camera there. Uh, if it's automatic, uh, with automatic uh, focusing camera, it will uh -huh. do all the rest. You just need to press one button. Otherwise, you well, have to zoom and. Uh, mm, Focus which uh, which yeah. button do I press? 
Which button do it's I press? Four, There's yeah. all these buttons on here. Well, there is there is the largest one. <laughs> it's usually on the top. Okay, good. Yeah, the largest one usually on the top. Okay, Thank nice job, much. Arthur. For instruction. Thank you very much, Arthur. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Arthur, let me have you interrupt Daniel here and uh, choose uh, uh, one of these items here on the wheel. Daniel, I hate to interrupt you, but um, could you please tell me how to sharpen a pencil? Oh, uh, it's it's very easy to do, but it's very difficult to say. <laughs> you need a pencil, a sharp pencil, and you put the pencil into the sharp pencil, pencil sharpener. The pencil sharp sharpener. Pencil sharpener, and then you turn the pencil and then it's sharp <laughs> I think yeah that's good so you turn the pencil sharpener the wheel and then it sharpens it uh-huh thank you you're welcome okay all right very good and uh, let's see last one here uh, Daniel let me have you interrupt Fidel and uh, choose an item here in the wheel please okay and um, Fidel I yeah. hate to bother you, but could you please tell me how light a match? How to light a match? Uh, how light a match? Uh, it's easy. You just <laughs> put it in the fires. I'm putting it in the fire. <laughs> if the fire's already going. Okay, but how would you do it uh, without a fire already started? How do you say it's scratching in the box? I don't know how to say. Um, how do you yeah, say that? Just like that, just like that. Use <laughs> use those words, man. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, you you just scratch in in the matchbox and that's it. It's easy. Okay. Okay, but what you. part? What part of the matchbox? In the bottom. On the top. In the bottom. On the. Uh, okay. The on head. the sides. On the on side. The red head. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so yeah, so scratch the match on the side of the box, and it will light. Okay? Yes. Yeah, very very good, Fidel. Yes. Yeah, so um, have, uh, have confidence, you guys, in the words that you know, okay? So uh, sometimes it may not be the exact word, but that's okay. Use the word that you know, and in most cases, people will be able to understand what you're, what you're saying. Use what you know, and the meaning will come out. The meaning will come out, okay? okay. All right, you guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, um, tomorrow we'll be going over another another topic. Uh, I think it's uh, giving uh, instruct or no, uh, giving directions. So that's uh, the next chapter, okay? All right, guys. Thanks. We'll see you. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you for the lessons. Thank Have you. a nice day, everybody.